to know how to style Dr. Martin's Hey, I'm Jen, and I'm going to show you how to style some Doug Martens yet again. Um, so I've showed you how to style the Jadens, some 1461s, some Polys, and some sandals. So today I'm going to show you the classic 1460s. And if you stick to the end, I'll show you some sizing. But unfortunately, I don't actually have a black pair for some reason. But you can totally style all these looks with black if you have black or any other color. All right, so let's start with like my oldest pair of Doc Martens that I have in my wardrobe. And these are basically a 90s staple. So I thought I'd go super 90s in this two-piece set, which makes me feel like the main character of a sitcom. And let's keep those 90s nostalgia vibes going with this midi dress and baby tee. Um, basically, I live in this all the time because I just kind of wear this dress as pajamas. But yeah, I love the colors and the daisies on it. And it's just such a cute outfit that you can wear for any scenario. Now, if those outfits are giving you goosebumps because you're heading into winter, here's a better one for you. Um, just some overalls and a stripy long sleeve. Obviously, you can layer up a bit more if you're in a colder climate, but overalls just look classic with some dog ones, so I had to add this in. the dog buns that I've probably worn the most which are these brown crazy horse dog buns that I got before I went traveling around the world so they've literally been everywhere and they look like they have no life left in them but I can assure you they still have years and years left in them because they are made to look worn but you'll notice that I like to make a lot of these outfits very earthy toned basically all green because I just like the vibe that they put out there with like browns and greens and and yeah, it's not something I normally go for since I'm always wearing a lot of color, but for some reason when I add the brown docks, I channel my inner hippie being or nature lover or something. So I add in a lot of greens, but here we got something a little bit more cash that would look good on anybody. And you can just change up the top for anything and wear some like cool black jeans and you're good to go with any kind of dog ones actually. But um, yeah, it looks great with these brown ones. And big surprise, it is another green look. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. You can really change up the colors for anything, but for me, I'm doing green because I love the contrast with the pink hair. I also have green eyes, so maybe that's why I like it. But you can mix up any kind of summer dress and wear a turtleneck if you're going into cold climates and you'll look so cute. So here we are going into more of a fall vibe for you guys. Here are my newest additions, which I got for like $40, I think, on Depop. Um, basically, they're this beautiful pink color, kind of pinky, reddy color. And because it's so vibrant, I wanted to bring a very colorful look here with this turtleneck and black dress combo. Kind of like an accidentally cool outfit that I found out the other day and it's very Rue vibes, Rue from Euphoria. So I kind of dig it. I'm not sure if the stripes and the shirt really go together, but um, I'm going to wear it because it makes me feel really cool. Like I don't really care about the pattern matching. Um, just deal with it, people. Now I have to admit these floral ones are super hard to style and I don't often gravitate to them because yeah it's really hard to style them. So I tried my best to do what I could and 
came up with this one with these wide leg pants and pink top combo and they kind of go with the colours that are in the shoes. Obviously because these shoes are so loud, your best bet is probably to go a bit more basic with the clothing options on top. So I've just gone with these black jeans, crochet top and pink jacket, which are all colours that you can find in the boots. So I find a pro tip is to really just find the colours that are in the boots and then put it into your outfit. Last but not least, it's something a bit more crazy. We got some greens, we got some pinks. I love it with the hair, I love it with the shoes. It kind of gives me Cosmo and Wanda mashup vibes, like I'm both of them at once, but I love it and it's a vibe. That is how I would style my 1460s. Basically, you could style them any way you want with any color and they'd probably look just as good. So I'll just go into sizing for a second. So the first pair that I got are these red boots. Um, I find that I size down in these. I'm normally about maybe an eight and a half or a nine in shoes. So I got the UK six in these and they fit um, a little bit big, so I do put in an inner sole in these. The inner sole that I use is something that I got when I was like in high school, which is this disgusting thing. Um, basically it's because I'm really flat footed, so I put this in. Um, it's quite thick and it fills up the Doc Martens quite a bit, but it works really good, you know, to fill it up if you need it. Um, same thing goes with these brown boots. I find them quite big and also they stretch out a bit once you wear them a lot because they're such a soft leather. So just know that they will stretch out. And yeah, I wear an insole with these. And then with these ones, I don't need to wear an insole because they are a more narrow fit. The Pascals I find are more of like a feminine shoe just because they're a bit more narrow and they also don't have the kind of black stitching at the top if that makes sense they're just kind of an open edge there so yeah i find these are a bit tighter and i did go uk6 as well but i don't put the inner sole in and then for this last pair i thrifted these and they seem a bit smaller than maybe this pair um might be just from the person who had them last but i don't know they seem all right without an inner sole so yeah, that's what I find with the 1460s. They are a bit of a bigger shoe if you're getting a unisex size, um, just because men's feet are kind of wider. But yeah, that is how I would go with sizing for those. Um, if you're unsure if you're half size too big, maybe size down, but definitely try it on in the store. But yeah, I have been Jen. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you like my new look, let me know if I should continue this aesthetic for the rest of the videos. Um, if you have any dog questions, just ask me in the comments below. And until next time, keep wondering.